So real quick, I wrote some notes to keep me on task so I didn't take up too much time. Thanks. Um, okay, so we're very glad to be back this morning after a couple of weeks gone. This last weekend, Nicholas had the honor of officiating his cousin's wedding, and you'll notice outside the color of our van has changed temporarily because I hit some sort of large animal. It was a raccoon. She hit a big raccoon. It was, I'm not sure it was a raccoon. Anyway, <laughs> damaged our bumper really bad. There's a whole story to that, so if you want to hear how terrible I am for not stopping, you can talk to us later. Um, <laughs> Uh, so the first weekend we were gone, Nicholas and I had the opportunity to attend the second of two trainings. Um, the training for us was sponsored by Christ in Action. Um, and when many hear Christ in Action, you immediately go to what Christ in Action did, to our, did for our community, and that's disaster relief. And so this training, yes, it was disaster relief, but it was critical incident training. Um, so it's, it's more than that. It's crisis intervention training and certification um, this training is produced by the International Critical Incident Stress Foundation and recognized globally by the UN. So this training that we went to, they train military, they train chaplains, they train first responders in this, in the event that there is a natural disaster, a local disaster, um, anything, hospice care, um, bad diagnosis, those types of things. And so that is the training that we went to and we're certified in officially um, so as we know, disaster in any form can happen at any time. So as leaders, we felt that this training was very important to us, and Christ in Action sponsored the cost of this training for us. And we hope to bring that training to our community at some point so there will be more people that are able to professionally um, respond to these incidents. This training was also the first step in establishing a Christ in Action Ready team here at Foundation Church. We think it's very important that our church, given the outpouring of national relief that was poured into our community during a disaster time, that we are able to give back again and go into other places and respond in the same way and help people meet those needs like people came to us. And so that was the first step in establishing a Christ in Action Ready team here at our church. Um, we're still working out the details, so with this team, we'll be able to respond with this team and send a team out um, to help with disasters such as Hurricane Helene or Milton or like the tornado that just hit Oklahoma, um, different situations like that, we can send a team out. Um, I am leading a deployment team November 18th through 22nd to Florida. Uh, we have sent out emails if you are interested in going on that trip, please see me today after service because I need to get registration for you so that we have a place for you in Florida. Your airfare and part of the rental fee, there will be a fee associated with that so you cover your own costs. When you get there, all lodging and meals are provided so you don't have to worry about any of that. It's just getting there and coming back. How about your flights? How much are flights? Uh, around 200-ish. Um, that was the last time we looked at them. We would have to look at them again. We would like to purchase all the tickets at the same time so that we can make sure we're all on the same flight and getting to the same place and don't have to wait on somebody when we get there. We're planning another deployment for those who can't make this one work in December. So if you can't make the 18th through the 22nd work for your schedule or work or whatever, uh, stay tuned. We will announce some dates for December in the upcoming weeks. Also, Foundation Church has the unique opportunity to partner with Convoy of Hope. And for those of you that don't know, Convoy of Hope sent semi-loads of goods to our community during um, the flood to get food and different things into our community. Their team came and supported us as we ran distribution, helped us tremendously. Convoy is sending a truck on Tuesday full of goods that we will offload and then take to the fairgrounds. They are also sending another truck on Friday the 15th that we will distribute on the 16th. During distribution on the 16th, we are going to be able to give away 940 boxes of food. And in each of those boxes, there will be enough food for a family of four to eat for five days. Guys, this is really big and it's not just for our community, but hopefully it'll help people get through the hump of pre-holiday planning and then Upper Des Moines has some food boxes for that. We are also going to be able to give out some air purifiers um, laundry detergent, some other food things. And after that, the rest of the food will go to stock our food pantry here. Um, we have some wonderful ladies here in the congregation that are 
heading that up and manning it and sorting food. And um, Connie is our lead there. So if you have more questions, you can see Connie after service. She's been amazing. Um, after that, November 16th, we will have our food pantry open for um, if you have a neighbor that needs food, if you have a friend, if you have run into somebody who needs food, it's for you to come and get that for that person. Um, this isn't going to be like the outreach was where we have, you know, lines of people or a waiting room or anything like that. It'll just be come as you need, get it, sometimes by appointment, sometimes by the hours, and we'll announce those at a later time. If you would like to donate to the food pantry, I don't have the list up here with me. We'll get that posted somewhere for you. Non-perishable food items, dry milk, dry cereal, um, peanut butter and jelly, those types of shelf-stable items would be greatly appreciated. There's a flyer in the foyer for the drive through distribution. If anybody wants to take one, if you would like to help with that, the sign-ups are online. I would appreciate it if you would just go and click that link and go sign up on Church Center so I know how many to expect. Um, if you have any other questions, you can see me after service. I'd be happy to answer those.